Chapter 22 Begin. Welcome back, peeps, to the next chapter of the Melrus Adventures. In this chapter, we'll be discussing the recipe for the beacon. The beacon of light, the hope in the sky, the light, the signal to get me back home. Yes, what you'll need is three obsidian, one nether star, or yes, nether star, and you're also going to need five glass. Now, you're going to put your nether star dead center, do a full roll on the bottom of obsidian, and make, I would say, a C sideways, but, in ca okay, you know what, no. You're just going to encase, encase the nether star, be one with the nether star, and just place one here. A line of glass on top, and then right below that, on the left side, is another piece of glass, and you can get your beacon. The beacon, the hope, the joy, the everything in life that makes you feel whole again. Oh, 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 oh. And from that, just remember, as you can see in the description here, you're going to need some power. Now, the f if you put emerald, it will last longer. And remember, you need to build a pyramid with this signal. The bigger the pyramid, the stronger it is, and the powerful it is. Because you can get speed, haste, resistance, jump boost, strength, and for the secondary power, once you complete it, regeneration. Just remember, you need to have those fundamentals. Meaning, you need to have either an emerald, a diamond, a gold ingot, or an iron ingot to make it power for those benefits. Alright peeps, I'll see you guys in the next chapter. Stay awesome.